Weekend sunrise from 7am on 7. You'd never guess, but I bake for my lady. <laughs> <laughs> Does she want you to? <laughs> I'm baking under here today. for my lady right now. <laughs> we are talking about an unusual pastime called cosplay. And we've got Brad and Hanson here. Tell us, well, what is cosplay? Cosplay is costume playing. It's um, being your favourite character, but actually living your favourite character where you, you make, you either buy or you make the costume yourself and you, you be that character for a day or half a day. There's different conventions that we go to. We have barbecues at my shop and then we do. Um, it's really fun. <laughs> is, it, is it like the ultimate expression of being a nerd? It is the ultimate yeah, expression yeah, right. of being right. a nerd. So we're, prou we're proudly nerdiferous here in this, in this group. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, very oh, so. Oh, my God, someone said I'm not. <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? But here, none, all nonetheless, on oh, national no. TV, uh, Hanson, it, it started in Japan and it's apparently it's getting bigger and bigger here. Yes, it's getting really big recently, especially with all the conventions that are coming up to Australia. They, they started with one conventions now in Sydney alone. I think we have around six or seven, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so it's just getting bigger and bigger each year. And so, Hanson, you said it started in Japan. No, are it's... all the characters, you know, manga characters, essentially? Uh, well, the... cosplay is, is broad. It's not just manga or anime. It's also like, you know, Marvel and DC and, oh, you know, no. any comic book characters. You can be basically anyone. You can be like your favorite superstar if you want. What if I dressed up as Snoopy? Yeah, would that count? That would, be great. that would count? OK, oh, cool. Snoop Dogg? Could you be Snoop Dogg? <laughs> hey, the other thing that I've heard is that inanimate objects are big, that people can come dressed as some Where sort of inanimate objects in the briefing notes. Oh, okay. uh, is that, is that true? Are there any inanimate objects, you know, a cucumber, an ashtray, that kind of thing? <laughs> <laughs> is there a cucumber in an ashtray? Yeah, Has anyone tried smoking a cucumber? Have you got to be a looks like or... a few have. Uh, it's more like a character, yeah. Uh, or... Animals, you know, we've got furries as well. Uh, there's furries? one over there, yeah. Oh, hello, furry! Hey. Hey. What, what, do you, what do you get out of doing this? Hugs. Hugs, yeah, indeed. I love furry. furry. Animals. It's like the third wave in the Sydney Mardi Gras every year. The, the bears. <laughs> yeah. You're a cat, sorry. Yes, right. I know. Oh, Fair enough. Don't, don't <laughs> it's a very good crazy. point you make. Uh, and what are you, sir? I'm Steve from Fate Prototype. Oh, from what? Fate Prototype. Yes, that's oh, the one. I recognise that. And, and, and you? Akane from Vividred. Oh, Vividred. Yeah, terrific. Yes, indeed. I love it. There's a more of a sort of medieval tone happening over here, perhaps, with the club. Um, sort of. No, oh, I don't know what of. I'm talking about, do I? Hey, no, and, and, no, it's becoming Andy, increasingly we've, obvious. We've got, we've got some young cosplayers yeah. here. Is, is, is your mum and dad into cosplay? Um, no, not really. So what's got you into it? Well, my sister started it and I just wanted to join in. And what do you like about it? I like it because, like, you get to dress up and, like... You just have fun. Yeah, OK, so, so I, I get that when you're, you know, when you're younger. When mm. you're older, does it mean that you can then get in touch with your younger side? Um, I think cosplay is for all ages and different types of people and it doesn't limit to any uh, religion or belief or interests or anything. It's, oh, it's an inclusive everyone. movement. Yeah, it's for everyone, cosplay for so, everyone. So, look, just tell me here, ladies, I'm, I'm not sure about Moni. She kind really? of looks like a Romanian milkmaid. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, are, what would you suggest <laughs> for her? What would have been better for me? Hmm. Uh, Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. <laughs> Who? Who? Sailor Moon? <laughs> Sailor Moon is an anime, I'm pretty sure. Yes. yes. <laughs> there we go. Oh, here. There. Oh, hello, Sailor Moon. Oh, now I see Sailor Moon. I, I'm embarrassed that I've come as the, the milkmaid. Um, yeah. It must be my extensive experience in milking cattle. Yes, you that, do. Uh, has what got does my character do? I feel like I should be down at, you know, you the Hellfire Club. You need a weapon. I need a book. Yeah, a book and a weapon. A, weapon. a book and a weapon. Well, well, my a my weapon is my book. You know. <laughs> Knowledge is the ultimate <laughs> power. And there we go, Quibbler. Oh, terrific. <laughs> Pandemonium at the Ministry. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you've actually got your, uh, you've got your microphone. That can be a weapon. That oh, could be a weapon. Look. Yes, indeed. Fabulous. Oh, thank you. Now I've got Fantastic. everything I need. He's complete. The Do you know what? Mike I, is mightier than the sword. I, I agree. I thought that you looked, you know, not quite put together before, but now 
perfection. Hey, stick with us, everyone. We're going to have more of Weekend Sunrise after the break.